When your mother made you, she created a small ocean in her womb, just for you. In doing so, she repeated the most ancient story of hope and safekeeping ever told, the story of life. This story was passed down from her mother and her mother's mother and all the way back to the first mother, Ocean. Once upon a time, almost four billion years ago, Ocean taught life how to begin. In warm waters, chemicals linked together like words, babbling in gentle waves. These chemicals sparked a chain reaction. Instead of dissolving back into the sea, they joined, twisted and curled into their own types of words and sentences, finally folding into a delicate poem. Among untold billions of early texts that bubbled within ocean, only one single string of chemicals branched into all the stories inside all creatures living today. You are a descendant of that one salty speck of ancient text, a continuation of its story with no breaks or gaps of any kind. For thousands of years, people have honed their appreciation for this interconnection by slowly breathing air in and slowly breathing it back out. Air can remind you that you are not separate from the world. You are made from it and sustained by it. It is easy to forget that air is a second ocean, that clouds float on it like icebergs and birds swim through it like fish. From this reservoir of sky, plants condense like a rain of leaves. Through photosynthesis, plants turn air into sugars, leaves and seeds, even entire ecosystems. Through plants, a portal opens from air to physical form. When the hum of life stops, air takes back what it lent. In a few weeks, microbes and insects break down our forms, releasing them back to air as gases. But over the centuries, plants will breathe them in again, adding them to leaves, turning them into flowers. The cycle is complete. Growth, life, decay. And so it is that you have come to learn the lessons of ocean and air. Your body, like all bodies, is made from air. And your body, like all bodies, carries within it the story of ocean. We continue to retell some of Earth's most ancient stories just by being alive.